Hi everyone, it's Mari here for Honey Bee Stamps. I'm going to be creating this sweet little card that you can see here using a bunch of different products, including the gorgeous Lovely Layers Dianthus die set. And I'm also going to be using the Birdhouse A2 card base die set. This is a large die set that creates just this really adorable little birdhouse. I'm using the Sweet Spring Mice Stamp and Coordinating Die Set as well. Really, really super cute set that's got all of those adorable little sweet mice on it. And then I'm also going to be using the cover plate called Fall Flourish. And this is just a beautiful texture plate. I also wanted to use the Best of Everything sentiment set. This is just a really great general greeting set that has some really beautiful fonts. And so I'm going to be using the sentiment Big Hugs from that set today for the greeting for the front of my card. Now getting into the process for today's card, I started off with the Lovely Layers Dianthus. Now you can see that I did cut out the base for that die set from some green cardstock. I'm actually not going to use that in the end, but I did die cut that out just in case. And then I cut all three of the different blooms that coordinate with that base die, uh, die cut out of three different colors of cardstock. Now, each one of the three dies that cuts out the blooms cuts out one of those three sections. So you'll see on that card that shows the layering guide, there's three different lines for each of the three blooms. And what I like to do when I'm die cutting these is die cut them and leave that little stack of die cuts that go with that die in a little pile. And then you can see the coordinating um, instructions for layering those together. And I'm just using that layering guide to help me uh, adhere these all together. And I'm just using some liquid glue. And you can see there I'm using my tweezers just to create these really adorable little dianthus blossoms. And I'm actually only going to be using just these three blooms for some uh, extra little embellishments on my project today. So I'm just going to go through and create all three of those different little blooms in that same way. And I just wanted to use three different tones of pink for the little colors of florals for my project today. I was trying to use kind of some corals and bright pinks and really light pinks for all of the different pink tones for my project and definitely going for kind of a Valentine's theme here. But really this card's pretty generic. You could use it for just about any time that you just want to send someone uh, just a happy little greeting. And the, I think the color pink is just really, really pretty and coordinates so well with that sweet little mouse that I'm going to be coloring up in a little bit. So here you can just see this really pretty kind of coral cardstock here is going to just layer together so nicely to create my second little bloom here. And I'm just trying to, I'm not trying to create too much dimension with these little layered florals here I just wanted to add them together just with some liquid adhesive but you definitely could add a little bit of dimensional foam if you've got a thinner dimensional foam it would actually create a more dimensional floral here for you as well so I'm going to just add that last little bit in there and that's going to finish up this second little floral bit which is super super sweet now I am creating my third little bloom here with a really, really bright fuchsia color, and that'll complete my little florals. Now I have created my background here for my card front with the fall flourish cover plate. I just ran my card front through my die cutting machine with that cover plate, and I'm ready to assemble the birdhouse pieces that I have die cut from different tones of pink that I used for the florals as well. So it's a light pink and a corally pink, and then of course that fuchsia. And then there's also going to be an element of my birdhouse here that's going to be white. And I'm just going to start to assemble the birdhouse together. The birdhouse does come with a die to create a little heart and then a little bird hole for the top. I'm actually thinking of this as more of a little mouse house and that's why I thought that it coordinated so well with those little spring mice because the little mouse is about the same size as the door opening there. I am going to add those little rooftop die cut pieces with some foam adhesive as I did with that heart in that circle just to pop them up a little bit. And then I die cut the house again from the pink color to create a pink door. I trimmed that out and then added that over top of the white door. 
Here you can just see I'm using some black alcohol proof ink to stamp out my sweet little mouse from the spring mice stamp set. And I'm going to be using three colors, bright pink, brown gray, and pale pink from my Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend markers to color in my sweet little mouse. I'm starting off here with the bright pink and the really great thing about these markers is you do get the three coordinating colors in one barrel. So you get a light, a medium, and a dark. And I'm starting off with the lightest tone to color in all three of the hearts. This little heart flower that the little mouse is holding onto is going to be a kind of a, by the time I'm finished, a pretty bright pink that I thought matched up nicely with the fuchsia color cardstock that I used for the little house and the flowers. So again, here you can just see I'm coloring in each one of those little heart sections just with the lightest color. Then I'll go in with the, I believe I'm using, I'm gonna use the darkest color here and I'm gonna go in and just create a little bit of a shadow on the sides of the heart for each one of the four hearts. And I'm just gonna draw up the one side all the way up and then partially up the other side. And this is just going to kind of create a little bit of a shadow where those hearts kind of butt up against each other. And I am not a colorist by any stretch of the imagination. I just kind of try to do what I think looks good to my eye. And once I'm finished here with that darkest color, I'll then go in with the medium color, which is in the middle of the pen. And I'll blend that, that darkest color out into the lightest. So that's what I'm doing there now. And that's just going to give, just retain that lightest area, which is kind, kind of going to be like a highlight. And then I'll go over the highlight area again with the lightest color to blend that medium color in. And that will finish off the coloring of those hearts. So just really, really simple. The Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend markers do make coloring very, very easy. So I've got that all done now. I'm going to go in with the lightest pink of the pale pink marker and I'm going to color in the inside of the mouse's ears and also the little muzzle area of the little mouse. And then I'll go in with the um, darker color of the pale pink and just create a little bit of a shading at the base of the ear. I'm using the pale brown starting off with or I should say the brown gray starting off with the lightest color to go over top all of the mouse. So I'm going over the entire mouse with that lightest color of the brown gray. And I'm just using little circular motions here with the marker to color in the entire space that is the gray mouse. So I'm just going to put a little bit of extra cardstock underneath my paper just so that it does absorb any of the extra ink that might bleed through the paper that I'm using. And so now that I've got that lightest color on there, I'll go in with the darkest and I'll just draw in some shadow areas on the mouse where I think it might be um, good to have just a little bit of shadow area under the arms, on the legs, the, the kind of behind the tummy area on the legs and around the face. And then I'll go in with the medium color and blend that out a little bit. So I'm just blending out with that medium color and then I'll go back into the light color and blend the darker colors into the lighter and just create that little bit of blending in that way. And I believe I'm going to just go over top of the entire front of the mouse again, blending in that medium and darker shade. And I'm going to just finish up the ear with a little bit of the brown gray as well and just adding a little bit of a shadow there at the base of the ear where it intersects with the head or touches the head and just using that darkest color and the medium and light colors to blend that out I'm going to go in with the bright pink to add a little bit of a rosy cheek and then I'll use the coordinating dies to cut out the sweet little mouse here with this die and it's just going to create the most adorable little embellishment for our little mouse house, which is originally intended for birds. <laughs> now I'm going to go ahead and start to do some assembly here. I'm going to put my cover plate die cut piece here onto my card base. My card base is a white top folding A2 size card. So I'm just going to add my liquid adhesive on the back of this cover plate piece here with the texture on it. 
which is just a really nice subtle background for my project. Now I'll go ahead and add the birdhouse onto the front of my card just with some liquid adhesive as well. And I'll go ahead and just give that a really good press when I add it onto the center of my card base. Now here you can see I've stamped and die cut out the big hug sentiment from that best of everything sentiment set. And I'm just kind of trying to get an idea of where I want to place everything on this sweet little card. So I'm thinking about adding some little flowers in behind the mouse and keeping the mouse kind of over to the left and then keeping the sentiment over to the right. So I'm just kind of moving things around at this point and trying to decide what colors to put where with these little florals and where I want to put the little florals. Just moving things around to get an idea of how what I want for a placement. So I'm pretty happy with the looks of this basically. And here in this next frame, you'll see that I have things adhered down. I've moved, moved things around slightly, but the basic idea is there. And I did adhere the big hugs to my card with some foam adhesive. And I, I added my mouse to the card with foam adhesive. I also added some little white gel dots to the little heart flower. And I added a little bit of black glaze pen to the nose of the mouse. Now I'm going over my flowers, my cardstock flowers, with a little bit of clear sparkle pen. And this just adds a little bit of sparkle and shine to the cardstock. I like how that looks, and I will add a little bit of that sparkle pen to the mouse here and there as well. Not too much, just a little bit, um, just to give a little bit of detail. I do end up adding some white dots with my white gel pen to that circle and heart die cut pieces on the top areas of the birdhouse. And you'll see that at the end when the card is all finished. So I think at this point I'm finished with the sparkle pen. I am going to add my happy hearts gem stickers to the center of that little heart flower. So I'm just gonna add one little gem sticker to the center of that little heart flower there, just to add that little bit of bling to that area and for the most part the card is done although like I said I did add a little bit more white gel pen to the project and I will show you that here shortly. So I, I am going to take my white gel pen and add a little bit more detail to the little mouse. I just have to get my gel pen going here so I'm just putting it on a little bit of scrap paper to get it moving and you'll just see that I'm just going to add some little dots and lines here and there for highlights on the little mouse. And it's all of these little details, honestly, on a colored piece that really make it come alive. I love adding white gel pen to my colored images. So now you can see here in this transition that I have added those dots to that heart and the circle at the top, and that's gonna finish off my card. Thank you so much, friends, for joining me today. I hope you were inspired to dig into your stash and use some of your older supplies in a new way. I will see you again next Friday. Have an amazing day. Take care, stay well, and bye-bye.